With the last two games decided by just one point, this game promised to be a coke snorter in Jonathan Thurston's 250th man himself, Jonathan Thurston. Married or not, he could fuck just about any chick in North Queensland. And the man himself didn't fuck around with the foreplay, getting involved in the action early on. He doesn't fuck around, he's straight into it. But it was the Cowboys co-captain who was first to penetrate the Bronx and stick one right between their uprights. He's got a head like an elephant's cock. Yeah, you can see it there. Everyone thinks it's going wide to Shirsty, but it's a short ball straight into Scott, and that's like trying to stop a Tonka with a couple of matchbox cars. Broncos didn't have a shit open out. It may have been the windy conditions, or he may have just farted and followed through, but Ben Hunt would have felt better about this dropped bomb. Fucking dropped it! <laughs> And moments later, the Broncos made the most of the opportunity when Matt Gillette went bareback and scored with this great effort. Well, he's either scored or that's double penetration. Tremendous effort by Gillette. Just bows a defence over desperation and he gets over. Now, I don't know. He must have thought he was at Wendell Saylor's house for a second because I don't know if he was trying to sniff the line or get the ball on it. And Kyle Felt must have felt like a boozed-up bridesmaid when he dropped the bouquet yet again. Oh shit, the crowd can't believe it. Friday comes up and says, well done dickhead. Couldn't catch Chlamydia and Cabra Matter. Bit lucky for Felt, Ben Hunt still has hands like a lubricated lesbian as this ball slips straight through him. Oh, how frigid is he? He's becoming more famous for his fuck-ups. But the Broncos quickly redeemed themselves when Matt Gillette found the G-spot yet again for his second try. Like a hippie in a whorehouse! He barely touched the hoardings! Straight after the halftime break, the Broncos stretched the Cowboys' legs wide open when Kahu found a way up the inner thigh. Easier than confusing a Kardashian! And that's fucking easy! Yeah, well unlike the Kardashians, the Broncos still had to work for it. A penalty kick added another two points before the Cowboys showed some desperation and began to flirt with the four-pointer. Corner! Oh, it's a shit pass! They've coughed it up! Oh, shit. And it was Lachlan Coote who sent the crowd into a frenzy when he scored with this bullshit kick. Oh, that was like a dirty old bag of weed. He tried to give the bastard away and it ended up back down his throat. And just like everybody was expecting, the Cowboys pulled a rabbit straight out of their anal passage to level up the scores. Oh, he's over. He's over. He's over. He's over. Well, fuck me like a dog and call me Mitchell Pierce. Scores a level. Well, I don't think anyone would want to fuck you when you smell like a dog. But what a great try. He eats pressure like Bo Ryan eats vaginas! And straight through the middle! Was there ever any doubt? No, there's probably more chance of Jared Hayne getting a game in the Fijian Olympic team than Shirsty Mission, that one. And Michael Morgan looked like he put the Cowboys in front, but fell short by the width of a foreskin. Don't tell me! Well, he was more determined than Kieran Foran at the TAB, but I hate to tell you, I don't think he quite got there. And after copping one right in the bread basket, it was the grimacing Jonathan Thurston who sent the crowd into an ejaculative eruption. Dad! Oh, go and get fucked! He's smashed by Maguire, and he's in trouble there. He's holding his ribs, and this is why they should be bottling up his sperm and auctioning it off. Because, look, he's a dead shed fucking immortal, and look at that. With less than a minute to go, Butterfingers Ben Hunt had the chance to be the hero, but missed by the length of semi Redradra's unpeeled banana. Fucked it up again! And there it is, 1918, another epic game. Broncos almost stole it in the end, but Ben Hunt missed a kick by at least uh, two feet. Whoa.